It looks so majestic. It's one of those where I'm like, is this AI? <laughs> <laughs> no, just by Mother Nature. Just I was beautiful say, Mother Nature. Mother Nature bringing out a beautiful show. And you know what? We saw a little bit of a show yesterday, right? Yeah, we did. The rain. We saw some wet weather yesterday morning. And you know what? We've got the chance again today. And I know it's hard to believe for many of you. You're waking up, you're looking outside and saying, it's beautiful outside. What do you mean? Uh, but you know, as we head into this afternoon, we will see uh, more clouds develop with a chance of rain. So want to show you just just kind of a total of some of the uh, spots that saw the highest amounts of rain yesterday. Malibu coming in at uh, three fourths of an inch. Sepulveda Dam over a half an inch of rain, just at a half an inch in Montebello. Bel Air just under that and just over a quarter in Corona. So we look live outside over Santa Monica. We're seeing a mix of sun and clouds. We still have uh, a lingering unsettled air mass. So a slight chance of showers and a thunderstorm as we head into this afternoon. Of course, some air Areas of wind and you've probably already noticed that if you've woken up in uh, Ventura County along the Orange County coastline or up into our mountain communities and the deserts too. Now it's going to be dry to start off the week once we get past today and then we've got another system headed our way as we head into this upcoming weekend and that is going to bring us that next shot at wet weather. But let's talk about the next 24 hours and we are looking at that increasing chance for some showers as we head into this afternoon and early this evening. Here's 445 and we're seeing that rain spread over some parts of Ventura County right along the Ventura and Los Angeles County border. So think areas like Calabasas, Agora Hills, into the San Gabriel Valley, and into some parts of the Inland Empire as well. So the yellows that we see, that's an indication of heavier rainfall, slight chance of thunderstorms that is possible. That starts to move south into Orange County as we head into about dinner time tonight. And then as we head into about bedtime, we're looking at a clearing sky, sunshine to start off your Monday, and that system is going to move out of here and we will be dry and we will see sunshine to start off the week. Now, wind a little bit of a concern today as we will see those winds get particularly stronger along the coastline and the desert communities. Lancaster wind speeds about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Huntington Beach too, about 20 to 30 mile an hour winds and Long Beach looking at those stronger winds forming as we head into this afternoon. Now, we also do have a winter storm warning in place, another day of that across Big Bear and Idlewild. So heavy snow that's above 5,000 feet. Now, we also have the winter weather advisory. This is through the I-5 corridor of the Grapevine, so something to be prepared for if you have plans to travel through this area today. You will be battling the strong winds and we could see accumulating snow across the grapevine too. LA Orange County temperatures in the 60s today below average, slight chance of thunderstorms, temperatures closer to average as we head into the middle of the week. Back to you. Alex, thank you so much. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.